Well, this Bears offensive line, Olin Krutz, the center and the centerpiece, playing right now with a bad ankle. They will see how long he can go in this ball game. Anthony Thomas is the key guy as far as the running game goes. Marty Booker has been the key as far as the receiving game goes, but he's missed the last three weeks with a bad ankle, is back today as a pro bowler from last season. After the incompletion, it's second and ten. This time, completes it out to David Terrell and the former Michigan star. Makes the catch for a pickup of nine yards on the play. Downfield against this Bears defense. Up front for Chicago, Brown, Robinson, Keith Trailer back after missing five games due to knee surgery. Holman, Erlacher, and the rookie, Lance Briggs, who is all over the place, are the linebackers. And in the secondary, they've got another rookie in Charles Tillman, who's had interceptions in back-to-back -back games this week. Yeah, Charles Tillman was the, the player who had the coverage on that last pass, Kurt. And Joey Harrington missed the throw, but he really had nowhere to throw. Tillman's coverage was so tight. On second down, the pitch to Bryson. Runs to the short side, and there's that rookie Lance there Briggs all over the place. Tackles him for a loss of four. We talked about these young players kind of energizing the Chicago defense, which has gotten better week by week. We saw Tillman on the last play with a great coverage. This time it's Lance Briggs on the run play. And Briggs really reminds me of Brian Urlacher yeah. when he first got into the league. He's very active. He's very fast. His only problem is sometimes he gets a little out of position and out of control. But he's got the speed to recover on most plays. Led the team in tackles last week with 10, nine of them solo. Wide receivers. Bears now on offense, just shy of the 25-yard line. That one thrown high, but David Terrell made the catch for a gain of five. For chips. Into the rubber bubbles that they have underneath this new turf. From the shotgun. Shuffle pass. Oh hey, you want to talk, talk about, about not young being players. fooled? Michael Haynes, oh, the man. number one draft pick out of Penn State, sniffed that one out and dropped him for yeah, a loss of two. He, he did it right, too. This is a shovel pass that they're expecting Haynes to play up on the quarterback and open a vertical seam in the line of scrimmage. Haynes, who's known for being a cerebral player, he doesn't fall for this at all. Watch him right here, and he just puts Bryson into the dirt. Haynes contributing more and more each week as he gets more and more playing time so far. Chandler, quick pass. That one caught along the sideline. Marty Booker with the catch. And you mentioned Anthony Thomas and the way he's really turned his season around. Has missed a couple of games with a foot injury, but when he's in there, you see the difference between the first two weeks and the last four games that he's played. Right, and I think if you look at Anthony Thomas and the drop-off that he had last year, it was because of injuries. Because when he's healthy, he is a very strong runner who can break tackles at the line of scrimmage. And this is impressive to me, this right here. 12 10-plus yard carries. You do that because you're strong and you're breaking tackles. Third and about a yard for the Bears. The pitch to Thomas. Flags on the play as Anthony Thomas picked up three yards. It'll be a first down if it stands. Yeah. Well, let's get the call from Bernie Kukar. They, they keep their hopes alive. They need the 41 for the first down here. Anthony Thomas empties out the backfield. Over the middle, Dustin Lyman gets enough for the first down out to the 43, a gain of seven. And there it is. That, that's exactly what you expect from Chandler. It's the precision. It's getting rid of the ball quickly. The pocket starts to collapse around him, but he gets it off. I think one of the problems that the Bears had when Cordell Stewart was at the quarterback position, Kurt, was he wasn't getting rid of the ball soon enough, and a mobile guy like Cordell Stewart was actually getting sacked much more often than Chris Chandler. First first down of the game for the Bears. Anthony Thomas gets it rolling. The A train into Lion territory, forced out by Brian Walker at the 41-yard line, but 16 on the run by Thomas. I got to tell you, Aaron Gibson is a monster of a guy, but he actually makes a pretty nimble block. Watch him here pull around and watch him right there on Boss Bailey, and he does a great job of putting the big bulk on him and then spinning his hips around to define the hole for Anthony Thomas. Oh, Aaron Gibson loves to pull, and why not? He's 375 pounds. <laughs> When you go up against a guy like feet. Ross Bailey, who's only 233, that's 140 yard.
Wide open, there's Justin Gage, and the rookie gets enough for the first down, a gain of 16 on the reception. We talked about Gage and Wade, two rookies that have really started to establish themselves while Marty, Marty Booker has been out with his injury. And that's, you know, Gage, who's got six catches coming into today, Kurt, and five of those six were for 20-plus yards. So he's probably disappointed in a 16-yard catch. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Gage is used to the big, the, the big chunks. So Paul Edinger will come on to try a 43-yard attempt. He's perfect on the year from this distance. Has only missed one in 17 attempts all season, and that was blocked by Detroit two weeks ago. This one won't be, and he'll be perfect again. So a pair of long field goals. Gets it all even. 3-3 here in the second. 27. This, this is where you want to go to gauge, I think, right? They give it to Desmond Clark, and Clark will be stopped three yards short of the first down. Boss Bailey. And the linebacker makes the first down saving tackle. Sean Bryson hit right at the line of scrimmage. Alfonso Boone. Boy, the tackle. You, I, and Alfonso Boone, I, I think Boone benefits from having Keith Trailer in there because Trailer's always going to draw a crowd. Here's Trailer right here. And then so Boone ends up with a single man on him, just Ray Brown. And he's able to spin off of Ray Brown's block and make that play in the backfield. Boone originally drafted by the Detroit Lions, seventh round back in 2000. In fact, he was the next to last pick in the yeah. entire draft that year. You know, and Mike Green, who's also on the Bears secondary, was the last pick in that draft. Mike Green. At the two. Azuma threw a hole down the sideline, and that's why he's leading the National Football League in kick returns, averaging 30 yards of return before this game. Took that one back for 45. He really changes directions quick against a good pass defense. Bears on first down. Chandler pump things. Then up top, Des White was open, had to go down to make the catch. But it's good enough for a gain of 13. Boy, Chandler's pump fake really, really went to work on Doug Evans. Evans got, got turned around and backed way, way off of Des White. Take a look. Watch Evans here and watch him just get turned totally around. He bites on that pump fake. And you see that Des White is just wide, wide open. I'll tell you what. Doug Evans last week had that happen to him with Jerry Rice. Rice was wide open. He caught the ball on first down. Marty Booker and Booker will pick up four yards on the reception. That's beginning at the 33. Anthony Thomas gain of four on the play. And Thomas couldn't really get it going in the first half. Only five carries for 16 yards and. A little extracurricular activity going on, as they say. Right. Here's Thomas again. Lowers his shoulder and keeps on pushing. He'll pick up four more yards on the play. Let's pick up Jennifer Hammond down there on the sideline. And a little sleepy on offense to start this one out. Sean Bryson caught in the backfield by Alex Brown. Loss of two on the play. And the Bears defensively continue to just eliminate the Lions running game. Of course, you know, the Lions running game, Kurt, has struggled all season, mainly because they don't have James Stewart. And as Steve Mariucci said yesterday, they've been running by committee. They've tried, they've tried Bryson, who actually looked pretty to me like Alex Brown may have slapped that thing out of there. No, yeah, as he, Alex Brown did get yeah, it. He does, yeah. He slaps it right out of there and forces a fumble. So that's a sack and a fumble for Alex Brown. Listen to you, an old defensive lineman. Count that sack first, aren't you? Yeah. yeah. And Bloss, one of the finalists for the job with the San Francisco 49ers before they surprised everyone and hired Dennis Erickson. Anthony Thomas with his best run of the day. Going to be about a yard short of that first down. Robert Porsche on the tackle. And that's a gain of, of seven. Yeah, and, th and this play here, it's kind of characteristic of when Anthony Thomas is at his best. He's a straight ahead runner. He runs strong. He runs right up through the middle. He usually, as I said before, looks for a block from Olin Krutz. The 
They need to get it right on top of the 40 yard line for the first down. Thomas will get it. Ran it for five yards. Barrett Green with the tackle. What a first down for the Bears. Yeah, and a, a really nice hole opened up on a short yardage play for the Bears. And, it, and it's Kruitz again right up there in the center. You see Kruitz and Valerio. There's Gibson. And they give Anthony Thomas some nice space to run in and pick up the first down. He has bounced back strongly this year. Picks up the blitz. Marty Booker. Booker with his biggest reception in his first game back from that ankle injury. 23 yards. And Kurt, you know what? Using Anthony Thomas, they started to pound away at this Lions defense. And what the Lions did was they said, all right, let's put eight up in the box to stop Anthony Thomas. They took the safety, put him in the middle of the field, and that left a huge, huge soft spot in the zone. So really, it's Anthony Thomas pounding away at this Lions defense. It brought eight guys up to the... Don't forget Boss Bailey. Bears can get a first if they get it to the two. Chandler towards the end zone. Touchdown, Chicago Bears. Desmond Clark, the tight end with the touchdown catch. I'll tell you, Kurt, outstanding protection by the Bears' offensive line to allow this play to develop. Watch this blocking up front, especially Aaron Gibson right here against Kalimba Edwards. And so Chris Chandler has time to wait and wait and wait, and Desmond Clark has time to get himself open. Clark, the big free agent pickup as a tight end from the Miami Dolphins. There's Paul Leninger with the extra point and the Chicago Bears have their first lead of the ball game. Fitzsimmons goes in motion on second down. There's Avon Coburn. He will go nowhere. Alex Brown in there on the tackle along with Mike Green. I tell you, and this isn't the first time we've seen Alex Brown in the Lions' backfield making a big play. Last drive, there's a tackle behind the line of scrimmage. There's that sack, and the Bears' defensive line, and the defense has not had a lot of sacks this season. And then here's the last play right there, tackling Colbert in the backfield for another loss. Down if they get it to the eight. Two for three in this situation today. Hit from behind. He was in the motion of throwing, and so that'll be incomplete. And he's lucky he got rid of that. Alex yeah. Brown that close to another sack. Alex Brown again, and this time he comes around. He comes around Jeff Backus. He gets on the edge of Backus. Watch him right here. He works the edge on Backus. Comes right around. And that is a perfect. Perfect outside move. Nice. If you're a defensive line, <laughs> of you're course. If you're, miss, if you're Joey Harrington's mom, that's not nice at all. So okay. that that, now that makes more sense. Something but like Terry would say. At least there were no farm animals in the quote. <laughs> yeah. Jerry Azuma brings it out of his end zone. Azuma penalty markers down on the play as he gets it out to the 34 yard line showing why he is so dangerous Lineman and your linebackers Thomas again Gets it out to the 44 Barrett Green with the tackle and that's a pickup of three yards Well Kurt talked a little bit about the last drive and here was that formula it was Anthony Thomas running the ball, picking up the tough yards on the ground, and then the very next play, the Lions shifted into an eight-man front. That opened it up for a deep pass to Booker, and then a few more runs to Anthony Thomas opened up the pass to Desmond Clark in the end. The Bears started to get a little bit of mixture with the run and pass on their offense in the second half here, as they're doing right now. That's Stanley Pritchett, the fullback. 
picks up the first down. Bay Buccaneers on the pregame, so fantastic. Second pass for the Bears. Zips it out to Desmond Clark, and the tight end makes the grab near that first down marker. And Kurt, isn't this isn't this passing game here in the second half really what we expected from Chris Chandler and the Bears in the first half? It's almost as if Chandler needed that first half to warm up because of the studying and in practice. But it's those intangibles that I think he continues to get better on and needs to get better. Avon Coburn. Say Alex Brown is is having a big day. And he caught him right there in the backfield, held on to that leg and wouldn't let him get away. And that's the fourth play, at least, that we've seen him today where he makes it right back there in the Lions' backfield. And he gets the chop block from Fitzsimmons. He gets up and still gets his hands on Colburn. Lions, 17 carries as a team, 22 yards rushing. Right now, they need about a yard, yard and a half to get a first down. Coburn. Don't oh, get it. Alex wow. Brown again. And what a game man, oh man. Alex Brown has had. You talk about a defensive battle and winning it on defense. Third and one, you got to be able to make this happen. But look at Boone. Look at Brown. Look at the, look at the fills by the linebackers, Holdman and Erlacher. That's Bears football, Kurt. I think if you ask Chicago fans, 90% of them would rather win a football game with a defensive battle like this. Knocked around the most. First down from the 10-yard line for Chicago. Anthony Thomas. There's that cutback run, that and he picks is. up 13. That is classic Anthony Thomas. Man, straight ahead, but he has the ability to change the lane, because here's the lane right over here, but he gets the defense going one way, and he changes the lane, coming back behind the blocks of Clark and Gibson. Look at that. That is just beautiful change of direction, and then he gets right back going north and south, Kurt. And remember, he was inactive the last time these two teams met two weeks ago.